Okay, this is our, uh, the next lab. This is the centrifugal fan operations. And uh, what we're gonna do first off is we need to make sure that our inlet damper and our outlet are both open. Right now they are set to close. So we're gonna turn it until we can see that it's completely uh, um, vertical for the outlet. And we're gonna make sure that this one is the 90 degrees also perfectly horizontal. You wanna make it as close to um, straight as you can because the little bit of air resistance that you cause by the, uh, uh, the damper being out is gonna change your results. Okay, so after we've got both of these open, we're gonna come over here and turn the power on. And right here, we're gonna have our watt meter and we're gonna have our fan speed. Right here is gonna be our adjustment, where as you can see, you can hear the fan kicking on. We're gonna be able to adjust the speed of the fan going up and down to uh, the different speeds that we need. All right, right here, uh, this is going to be the inlet uh, and it's in water columns. So you're, you're gonna have your man, manometer right here so you can, uh, manometer, so you can uh, read the uh, water column in inches. And right here, this is the outlet. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you know where all four of these are because you're gonna have to get your watts, fan speed, outlet, and inlet water columns so that you can write them all on your table. This right here is a hot wire anometer, okay? Right now, it's got the, uh, the rubber cap on it. When it's not in use, you wanna make sure to put the cap back on so nothing gets stuck to that wire. It's very important because that's what we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be testing with it, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is once we've got it turned on, we're gonna look at our, our inches for our water column. And as you can see, it's just slightly below zero, which is fine, but we're gonna bring it all the way up to a 0.9. So we're gonna turn the speed on And we're gonna watch the water, water column keep dropping. Okay, and once you've got that water column set, you can see what your watts were, and you can see what the RPM speed is for, the, uh, for this particular setup. After you've got these set up, Again, making sure that the dampers are both set to uh, vertical. You'll take off the, uh, the cap. On this side right here, you have two different options. You have temperature or you have your flow. We're gonna switch it to the flow. And you just, if it's, there's no movement or if you have the cap on, it should show zero. But if there's any type of airflow, it's gonna adjust. So you're gonna try and put that in the middle and get it as close to stable as you can, and you'll take your reading. These readings will be put down on your chart. <clears throat> They'll be put down on your chart, and you'll wanna make sure to record all your different speeds. And so you have multiple different uh, speeds that you can do, starting with your 0.9 and slowly decreasing it until you fill that out. And you'll go through that and you'll make sure that all of your information is recorded and that will get you to the last step, which will be uh, to plot all of your results and uh, make sure that everything's on. When this lab is done, you wanna make sure that everything gets shut back off and closed because we don't need any, any type of outside debris to get inside of the tubing. And that's all for the centrifugal fan.